I'm sorry to say our last goodbyes. My brother and my sister, don't you touch my stuff. To our loved one, we lost on April 16, 2013. <laughs> and my friends, her name was Michaela Danier. I see you on the other side. She committed suicide. Life to me has been worthless. Had the friend, had the boyfriend, but somehow, someway, still feeling lonely and depressed. She was depressed. She said that living on earth was like walking through the pits of hell. No matter what I do, I still feel like I can't satisfy anyone, not even myself. Not even a puff that I smoke can make these feelings go away. But her remind me of that day. She had fire running up and down her skin, so hot the cold didn't even exist. Feel the fire burning your skin, some of the fear of the pressure and the cries of all the lost souls. I feel like I have a purpose and plan to fulfill. Before she gave the knife permission and her hand the authority to slice her wrist, she wrote in that quote, if only, if only there was a man to guide me every step of the way, to be my superhero, to help me realize that I'm not just a rock but a diamond in the rough. If only someone told me that there was still hope for me, but it is finished. Ladies and gentlemen, if only you told her that there is a savior, that she did have a purpose and a plan, then maybe she'll be here today. If only she knew what she felt as if she were drowning, all she had to do was raise up her hand like Peter and trust that God would pull her up. She could have walked on water. Their trials and tribulations, big battles, small battles, even through your David the Goliath scene. Be mindful that you are and always will be David. Just because you ran out of rock saying his sling broken half doesn't mean it's over or it's done for you. Jesus already finished it. So next time, instead of rest in peace, rise in peace. Amen. There are too many kids killing themselves because they're forgetting about the grace of God, forgetting that he can save you. Not knowing that these thoughts are feeling confused, empty, depressed, and even heartbroken was the works of the enemy. Can't let him take over the only thing we can protect, our minds. No more cutting or frowning. It is finished. Jesus got cuts for us, died up here for death for us, so we shouldn't have to. Life couldn't be any better knowing that Jesus finished it, so we wouldn't have to end it. Thank you. Amen.